hi besties welcome back to yet another beautiful reaction video i'm going to be exploring with you guys today you know how we do it on this channel right so we're going to be checking the 1.5 trillion plan to build indian this is going to be a beautiful share right so um the link of this video will be on my description box if you want to watch an uninterrupted video from the start to the finish you can do well to check the link it will be on my description box right so after watching please drop your comments i want to read them i want to reply them i want to know what you think about this video after watching and let me know the country you're watching this amazing and beautiful video from right all right guys let's go check this out because this the title is really really catchy and i just cannot wait to click on it to see what they have for us right all right besties i'll see you guys when we are done watching india one of the fastest growing economies in the world is planning one of the biggest initiatives it has ever done in its history a scheme that would construct over 9078 projects and cost a whopping 1.5 trillion us dollars Yes, this is the National Infrastructure Pipeline of India, and it is going to change everything, from building world-class infrastructures to better the quality of life of people, to designing strategic projects that would overcome natural disasters, and the most important factor is the creation of energy-generating projects, which would affect the public welfare of India. The National Infrastructure Pipeline was introduced by Nirmala Sitharaman, the country's finance minister, where over 1.5 trillion US dollars will be needed over the course of five years, starting from 2020 all the way to 2025. Whilst a massive fund is required, it is thankfully financed by several institutions and governments. The central oh, government good. will contribute 39%, while the state contribute 40%, and the remaining cash needed is by the private sector, which makes up around 21%. These funds are then distributed among various sectors like the energy at 24%, roads at 18%, urban at 17%, and railways at 12%. The biggest projects allocated amongst these are as follows. The transportation sector will see the development of Navi Mumbai International Airport, a $2.6 billion project which will be the country's first urban multi-airport system. The Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail, one that costs a whopping $14.3 billion stretching 508 kilometers, which will also become India's first ever high speed rail line. The energy sector, which encompasses the largest fund allocation, will see billion-dollar projects not only in traditional energy plans, but also in more sustainable ones. One of the biggest projects to be laid out ever is the Solar Power Project, which ought to bring forth a cleaner energy production to the country as it stands at the construction cost of $63 so billion. Guys. The other enormous project in the sustainable area is the Wind Power Project, also standing at similar costs of $55 billion. Wow. The biggest scheme that aims to tackle the people is the social infrastructures. This one is set to upsize and upskill the population of India, with projects related to education, especially in the IT and medical field, with smaller proportions going to sports. The other remaining top projects will address both the water and sanitation problems and commercial infrastructures. While not a significant part of the entire agenda, these still contribute to the overall well-being of several industries. The likes of the India International Convention and Expo Center and eco-tourism projects. Such strong investments are much needed for the surge of the population and employment in India, as the country has seen a massive rise in the past years and the current infrastructure currently will be problematic for future generations if not addressed. Even recently, where unemployment has become a major issue for India, the construction of different projects under the NIP umbrella will introduce a huge vacancy of jobs for laborers, engineers, architects, and other industries affected by the implementation of NIP. The biggest factor, however, isn't the creation of jobs or addressing infrastructure problems in the country. It is the opportunities given by these projects. The market will flourish. Investors, both local and international, will in no time make significant investments and ultimately trigger a virtuous cycle of growth and improvement. These contributions in the market will help the government to achieve the collective goal of $5 trillion in the economy by the end of the five-year plan. While the plan indeed sounds promising, it does have some loopholes. Experts are concerned mostly about two major factors. The first is the generation of revenues. The plan expecting private companies to invest large amounts of money is rather overly ambitious. The government of India itself announced that they will be reducing the budget in the fourth year of the project to balance the fiscal deficit. 
This does not make a lot of sense, because a reduction in the budget might put this project to a startling halt. The investors wouldn't want to contribute to a project that has the potential to fail miserably. The other problem is the banking sector. The government wants to invest huge sums of money, but getting that from the current budget wouldn't be that easy. To get thousands of projects started, the government will have to rely on the banking sector for taking some loans. The problem is that the banking sector is already facing a huge crisis. A large amount of time will be needed to generate the funds, which will increase the project's completion deadline. And that may pose a bigger issue later on if the deadlines are ever moved. Anyway, what do you think about India's national infrastructure pipeline? Share with us your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to leave us a like and follow us for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching. Yo, this is really beautiful to watch. I really love to know what you guys think on the comment section. Like lately, I love the fact that I've been exploring a lot of things and I've been learning a lot of things in terms of different countries and their cultures. And trust me, meeting this and watching this was really nice to me i really love to know what you think on the comment section and if you are from this country let me know how true this is right i really want to know right all right besties i'll see you guys in my next video